biggest fetish I've ever seen then. 100%. Watch the line, don't let it go under the boat. Spanish I've ever seen. Oh, why does it I found a fish head equivalent. Would you call it a fish head equivalent? Yeah. yeah. There's not many tackle stores that have this kind of stuff and when you find one it's pretty sick. This is when you walk in and you strategically walk in looking straight at the expensive lures. What are you getting? All sorts. All sorts? All sorts. It's actually everything in here man. What else is good to film? There's everything. What do you get? Nothing. Don't make me start buying lures, please. These things are really sick. What is that? Hots. Oh. Fifth element, I. Oh. Where are these, mate? Which one's that one, buddy? The fifth element. Uh, no, Japanese lure. Japanese. Yep. Yeah, right. They look fucking mental. Yeah, they're awesome lure, eh? Look at these things. Um, what else we got? <gasps> Fuck me, I'm buying a lure. So I wasn't gonna buy anything because I'm poor. And then I saw these. It's a skipjack 150. What's with the blackjack thing? Because it's a Heru, but it's a blackjack. So blackjack is actually Heru's branding. Okay. So, so people get um, Heru to make his lures. Yeah. Like Nomad used to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So blackjack actually is like his kind of branding. Oh, right. Yeah. So this lure, I had one of these before and I stole it from Briggsy and he didn't like it and it was the best popper I've ever used and it ended up catching heaps of fish and then got eaten by a really big fish and I got instantly reefed. Oh! Yeah. Big, big, big. Really, really big. And I haven't had one since, and now that I've found that, I'm pretty much not throwing anything else for the rest of the trip. What do we got here? This count comes to 133.73, man. Bless you, thanks, mate. So, if you can't, if you're up in this part of the world, do we say where we are? Denny calls it Elite Tackle, Elite. but it's Elite <laughs> Tackle. And this is Rich, he runs the show. Hey, you going, guys? This is pretty cool, you don't get this tackle shop everywhere. So normally you go to your friggin' BCF and they don't even know what a stick bait is. <laughs> but this uh, place is pretty rad. I want to say it's like a cookie cut, it's his latest thing out. Like it's pretty out there, isn't it? But there's a bigger version and um, the, um, the bigger version... So I guess if you come up here and you're in this area fishing and you run out of, you lose all your gear because the GTs eat them all. This is where you come, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. You come here all the time, Rhino? Number one. Number one? Number one. Does he give you a big discount or something? No. <laughs> Good morning. The time we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. The wind is finally pissed off and we're about to launch and we're going to catch some GTs, hopefully. This is the shit I woke up this morning with like queasy feeling in my belly because I'm so excited, it is beyond belief. There's no wind at all. And we're gonna go test out Bergie's boat in the real situations. So I'm absolutely chewing at the bit. I gotta put this camera away, I'm gonna get everything ready and we're gonna get out there. See you out there, yeet. Good morning, it's obviously pouring rain, but we've made it out to the islands. I've caught a GT here before, so we're gonna have the first cast. And as you can see, it's raining. I don't know if I'm ready for a big fish, man. You ain't gonna choose, Johnny. This is why I'm using Stella 18, 20,000 spools, the Nac Tabizo, 
TC8200. My Harris skipjack I bought yesterday, 150. Big. Perfect. That's a big fish. Cast my new lure. Five casts gone. I think that was a good fish. Did you hit? It was like not a big explosion. You said gone. So it's not all bad. I think that you gotta take positives out of it. That was literally like four casts. The first four casts we've had for GTs, and the fish didn't come and do the gay looking at it thing. It just didn't even think about it and smashed it. So. I think that's a pretty good sign for what we're in for today. If they're doing that, if they keep doing that, it could be on for a pretty good day. But uh, pretty often I lost my brand new lure. Those skipjacks are mental. They cast so good, they pop really well, and they're really easy to pop. So now I'm back to the drawing board of what to throw because that was my favorite lure. Retired OTL 100 gram. Spot number three. Funny shot. Come on. Oh yeah, I just got bopped. Oh yeah. That was so weird. Yeah. Good big it was like on the pause and it just like love tapped it. Do you want to go half a cast back into it? Oh, 
Little I one. thought he was big when he hit. Little one. Little pop, mate. We're on the board at least. Didn't pull any track. Didn't even get <coughs> Not a click, not even setting the hook. Not like the last one. That's a start though. No, it's hell. Get it done. Woo! Good little fish. Thanks for coming, buddy. There he goes. See you, buddy. Woo! We're on the board. Oh, yeah. yep. That's smallest oh, GT in the world! <laughs> what? It's tiny! Are you kidding me? Oh, shark oh. on him! Shark on him! Shark on him! Get away! Get away! Get away! That's the smallest GT in the world! And the shark wanted it! That. Hey, 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 hey! Fuck, sake. Oh, he's throwing the law. He's very green. That is. Smallest GT you could ever hope to imagine for. Look at that. He's probably pushing 750 grams. But luckily that shark didn't get him. It's definitely not your, um, what do you say, your typical with Sunday's weather, is it? Right? A little bit dead. Far out and it is set in. Alright, we're, we're back to a spot where we've fished before. I've caught fish here before, so. Peppy or Angus, we could be about to hook up. Next cast. Next cast, hook up. Is anyone home? How thick is it, man? I promise you, it's the biggest Spanish ever. Oh. Drive, drive, Ford. The biggest Spanish I've ever seen then. 100%. Watch the line, don't let it go under the boat. Woo! 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 What the fuck? Oi, man! It is the biggest Spanish I've ever it's seen. Wide, isn't it? Oi. It's we got it. Just drive out there, I reckon. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Coming at ya? He's coming at ya. Please don't have a problem. I reckon that was 50 kilos. It was like that fucking... It looked like a doggy when it came out of the water. I would honestly mistake that as a dog tooth. <laughs> I honestly think that was 50 kilos. That was the biggest mackerel I've ever seen in my life by a mile. Oh, it looked like a doggy. It was this thick. tall. Yeah. How thick was it? <laughs> Can't believe it let go. <laughs> that was incredible. Was the take that on was it? incredible. Did you see it? The take was epic. Wasn't that the most freaking heck? Wow, man. It was a barrel. Was it a doggy? It looked like a doggy, was man. Was it a doggy? <laughs> Look at these teeth marks, man! <laughs> I swear to God, it looked like a dog. That was probably one of the biggest fish I've ever hooked casting. It looked. It was running drag like he didn't have any drag on it. That was fucking. It was burning line like nothing I've ever experienced. Ate that little popper. It horsed. <laughs> when I 
saw it was a mackerel, I got a bit scared to like hit it, but I should have hit it a bit more. Because I've had mackerel before where you hit it and it just rips it out. That was fucking huge. That was um, incredible, man. Fuck. Oh, I thought it was coming at me, man, and my arms are burning so much. Fuck. I actually don't know if you can appreciate what just went down. That was like, without a doubt, the biggest, I well, I think it was a mackerel. Like it was either a mackerel or a doggy, but it's gotta be a mackerel because I don't think there's doggies here. But it was like nothing I've ever seen before. At least, at least 50 kilos. Like, do you oh, think? It's by far the biggest mackerel I've ever seen. Ever seen? Ever seen. It was like, I've never, it, easily the biggest fish I've ever hooked casting lures. Like, I've caught a marlin, two marlin before, but they don't really count. But like, the way that thing was taking line on heavy drag on that big reel, is like nothing I've ever felt. It's actually incredible. And I was just saying to Ryan that, it's actually kind of good that it got off, because the mackerel like, if we got that thing to the boat, it probably would have ended up dying. So that thing, they're not a normal fish. That's like a once in a lifetime thing, which is kind of annoying because I'll probably never have that kind of line burning and seeing a fish like that eat your lure. That was absolutely incredible. I'm fucking tripping out. We just spent 10 minutes just talking about it in the boat and not doing anything. It was that freaking crazy. I was saying to Ryan, I don't even really care about GTs anymore. I just want to catch a friggin' 50 kilo Spanish. Because that was like nothing I've ever felt. Someone like hates Spanish. I hate Spanish. I hate, I hate catching 8 to 10 kilo Spanish on my popping gear. But that was in a whole nother realm, man. I'm about to hook a massive GT. Oh, I'm scared for my OTL popper, man. So I'd just like to bring to your attention that I'm actually at work right now. And it's been a tough day in the office. I haven't really been able to keep the hooks in anything, apart from 700 gram GTs. All the big ones have pulled hooks and one reefing. In the world's biggest Spanish, pulled hooks, heavy. Um, and I thought, oh, fucking dead battery, Desmond. Anyway, so what I was saying is, in keeping with the tradition of every video I've put on fish flicks so far, I seem to be drinking a beer. So me and Ryan have pulled in, we're having a beer. Today I'm having a James Squire 150 Lashes, and we learned an interesting fact about the James Squire, didn't we? Yeah. He was the first br brewer, first brewer in Australia, ever. And he had a, his pub or some shit, where the 
early friggin' settlers boats used to get stuck at low tide apparently. Is that true? If you know that's true. I don't know. He cashed in on it, eh? <laughs> so we're chilling. I just had some pizza. There's two big Guyanas on the beach. So I might go heckle them. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I think if these things bite you, it's like the worst thing in the world because they got such skitsy bacteria in their mouth. GT fishing, a lot of the time, is actually waiting. And for those of you that maybe haven't fished with GTs before, um, a lot of it is waiting for a certain tide to hit a certain spot. Now the tide is nearly all the way out and the current's pretty much stopped. So when there's no current, it pretty much equals no fish unless you're lucky. We're just kind of flopping around, fishing light tackle. Ryan just got hit on my light setup, possible coral trout, and we're just waiting. You gotta do lots of waiting. Damn. I knew you were gonna fucking do it. It's a bit windy. 